Hi, this is Christy with webprofitvideos.com and today I'm going to talk about a Firefox plugin called Firebug. This plugin is designed to help you make changes to your website. You can make changes to code, to CSS, to HTML and see immediate results and it just makes a temporary change until you want to make it permanent within your files. So let me explain that by showing it to you. You want to go to Firebug, or I'm sorry, GetFirebug.com. That's the fastest way to get to the download link for this. GetFirebug.com and go down to the orange button here. It'll take you to the download page to have you add it to your Firefox extensions. So once you add that and restart your browser, you're going to go to your web page and you'll see at the bottom right of the video here, there's a green circle with a check mark and that's the way to activate Firebug. You can also right click and hit inspect element and that will open it. Okay so I'm going to demonstrate this by going to a website of mine and we'll use this as an example on how to use Firebug. So I'm going to click this to open. We're going to be a little squishy on space here for the small video but uh, we'll do the best we can. So over here you have your HTML. On this side you have your, sorry, um, it'll open up the style for your CSS. Now you'll see that if you hit inspect, you can mouse over things on your page and if you look down there in the code, you'll see it's changing as I mouse over the different sections. It's a code that affects and causes um, what you see to show up on the page. The same thing happens down here. If I mouse over things in the code, it'll highlight to show me what effect, what the result is of that code. So there's the header for the whole page and so forth. All right, so let's see what changes we can make with this. So let's show you this by changing, let's say I want to change the title here to a green color. I'm going to hit inspect. I'm going to mouse over until I get just that title. There we go and click. I can see the ace shoes what affects the whole page and I can change the um, fonts and so forth if I want to, but I'm going to scroll down. I only want the center widget effect. And it's black, as you can see if you mouse over the letters here, the code for black, you can see what color it is. So I'm going to click on that and say so you want to make it green. As you can see, it immediately turns green. Usually though, of course, you want to use the uh, code for your colors. I don't know what green is. So here's another little tip built into this video. Colorzilla, if you see down at the bottom left here, this is another plugin called Colorzilla and this helps you find color codes stays right down there in your status bar ready to go whenever you need it. There's someone to left click. I want to go over the green here and if you're watching that box down there in the bottom left you'll see it's changing colors as I'm mousing over things. So let's go to the green and click and now you can see it stays green. If I right click I can copy the code. So I want to copy it with the pound in front of it in this case. I'm going to come over here and control V to paste it. Okay, so it pasted the code in there and you see it stayed green. So let's go ahead and show you another thing. If you want to change the HTML sometimes, let's hit inspect and let's say I don't like the color here in this. And now you see that this does not have the style sheet. It says element style because it's actually in the HTML that I have to make the change. So this tells me that I have to go into my widget and change the HTML there and um, I'm just going to change it to black for now, but I'm going to put it to zero and change it to black. There you go. You can make other changes in HTML if you need to change the actual, you can see if I click span here, I can't change span style. You want to go to edit and then you can make all the changes you want to and see the effects. All right, let's make some uh, changes that are going to be permanent because you'll see here, if I click here and I refresh my page, Everything that I made changes for with FileZilla are gone. I'm back to my actual web page here. So I'm going to hit inspect and I want to change the border color for instance. I don't want it to be green anymore. Let's make it a brown. So I come down here and I want the whole left sidebar. So I'm going to click here. You see it's highlighting. So it is what I want. I'm going to come over here. I'm in left sidebar. The border is green. Okay, and I want that to be, let's uh, pick the brown here. 
So again, I'm going to use my colorzilla, left click, choose the brown that's on here, a darker one I like, left click, right click copy, and in place the green. I'm going to paste in the brown code. Okay, we can make other changes. So just a slight, slight outline of my border there, of my uh, sidebar. So let's find out how to make this permanent with the border. Again, we're going to come back up to our sidebar. So in my style.php, more often you will find it in your style CSS. It's just an unusual theme. I'm going to look for dot left sidebar. So in this case, I'm actually working in WordPress, so it's under theme editor. If you're working in another HTML or PHP uh, for designing your site, then you're going to go into that file that it tells you to go into. So I'm going to scroll down until I find sidebar and dot left sidebar. So here is the border. So we change it to one pix dash in this color. Let me put in another reminder. Make a backup before you make permanent changes. I'm going to update the file. And now when we come back to the site and refresh it, Okay, you're not seeing any actual changes here because it became permanent. We changed to one brown dash. All right, so you have other options within uh, Firebug, setting it up for to only work on certain sites and um, checking the layout of your site to figure out why things are overlapping, how the borders and the padding are working out. You can check for errors, you can check your scripts, and so forth. So it has more options, but those are the ones that you're going to use a lot when you're designing your um, site. Okay, so give Firebug a try. Again, it's getfirebug.com. And come back and see some more videos later. If you are not watching this video on my website, if you're on YouTube, for instance, if you will click the link in the upper right there, you'll see a website link to webprofitvideos.com you can view more videos on my site.